and you can't do the easy loops like you do because this line is so slippery. I'm gonna have to do the clean hitch completely so it doesn't slip. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, this is a quarter core splice with 12 millimeter Enduro braid from New England. I'm gonna start out by doing it two times the fit length. Putting a mark at the two. Making our loop. It's our second mark. And then we're taking the core out at the second mark. We're just loosening the jacket up a little bit there so it makes it easier to get the core out. Dig in, find the core. Tech lines usually have a tighter cover. Thanks for getting the core out front. We're getting it. There she goes. All the strength in this line is in the core. Slide her up. This is loosening up the jacket, making it easier to put it back together. See where it folded out? It used to be here, now it's up here. It's giving us a little extra looseness in the jacket, so we can pull the line back in there. This normally about three times. Back down. You don't do that, what'll happen? Uh, you won't get it back inside. You won't get the splice back inside there because the jack will be too tight. We'll do it about three times. Just this little extra. Mark that. And we're putting two sheets on this one shackle. First mark, which was right there. We're inserting, actually, we're putting the shackle on first so we don't forget it. That's going to fit through here and coming out right where that hole is. I'll put a little point on this. Jacket. Now pull this through until we get back to our mark. Our mark was right there. Okay, we got our mark there. We got the tight jacket. So now the jacket goes back in to the core. That's the end that's coming out. This is the end that's going in. We go back in where it goes in to make our loop. So you're putting the core into the core. That's 
where it gets its name, Court of Course Blessing. And this will just run down here a ways. You can put a mark down here about three fid lengths down, even though you only got two fid lengths of line going in. It'll just help. But you can guesstimate it too. It's pretty easy. It just came out of the core there for a second. Just pull back, go back into the core. This core is very loose when you do this. It's easy to get the fit out. So you want to make certain the fit goes right down the inside. Don't catch any strands. Yeah. And then we just come out. Pull the core down to the mark that we had here. There's our mark. Let's see there. And then we'll just cut that off, taper it. So this taper is the, the smoother transition you have between the splice and the line. You don't get any bulges that way. jacket you can either do an external jacket in which case this just gets put onto the outside here when you're done just seize it on there just seize it on there yeah. or you can do what we're doing we're hiding a jacket on this line on these splices for this customer makes it a little harder right makes it very hard or yep. considerably harder just get your marks there and then just go right back into the core without picking up the other core that we put in there first. Alright, where's the entry? doesn't add strength, it just makes it look prettier. Yep. And then we'll just These fids are threaded on the inside so we can screw them right onto the line. It helps hold the line so we can do that without pressure. And then we just pull the jacket so it's right inside. Got a little twist here. It's just a cosmetic thing, just sort of taking the twist out. down, see where this comes, slide it back, cut it off, and then we'll taper this also. 